It's really hard to look up at the burned landscapes following the recent spate of wildfires in the Western Cape, numbering some 1,000 since November. In the Overstrand area alone, 29 fires have been fought in just one week, without loss of life, but with significant consequences to residents, municipalities and the natural environment. Figures relating to the costs of fighting these fires appeared in the mass media in the form of an infographic, Cape Fires by Number. The wildfire stories have gone off the boil in the media, yet the carnage is there for all to see. What has replaced the dramatic pictures and related coverage are articles as to the environmental benefits, insight to the indigenous fauna and flora, and strategies for the future relating to wildfires. Fenbos is the endemic dominant vegetation type found in a tight coastal band in the Western Cape, home to the richest but smallest floral kingdom on our planet, the Cape Floral Kingdom. This floral kingdom boasts some 9,250 species, some of which are found nowhere else in the world. Sadly, it's not the only vegetation type, what with the often unchecked invasion of alien species such as roycrons, blue gums and the pines. Fire is a natural phenomenon in the Feinbos, and its plants have evolved a number of strategies to cope with it. It is in fact the major ecological driving force behind the structuring and functioning of Feinbos. During the dry summer months, the Feinbos becomes like a tinderbox. Feinbos wants to burn, but not that often, nor too infrequently, around about every 12 to 15 years, and it prefers a cool fire. Fires that are too hot, too often, or not often enough, have dire consequences for its diversity. Historically, lightning caused natural fires, but today humans are the major causes of wildfires. If this is all true then, looking for solutions to wildfires should include the focus, burn for diversity. We are tasked with looking after what we have. The climate dice is loaded in favour of bigger wildfires which will be difficult to control as many will rage in inaccessible areas. The alien or mixed vegetation changes the fuel load, makes the vegetation more flammable and the fires hotter. So, how do we achieve wildfire control and reduce damage to lives and homes, the economy on one hand and the natural environment on the other? Thanks to United Nations climate change funding, together with local co-funders, the Fenbus Fire Project is developing strategies to reduce the impact of unwanted wildfires in the Fenbos biome. The project aims to enable fire protection associations, known as FPAs, and their members to more effectively manage risks to the environment, property, agriculture, and water catchments in the Western and Eastern Cape. The tools include an integrated combination of knowledge and data collection with preventative and reactive actions, as well as education. Here are some of these. Fire modeling, fire weather predictions, wildfire behavior. Preventative actions include risk reduction, such as fire breaks, the removal of alien vegetation, controlled burns in line with the very nature of the indigenous vegetation needs and specifics, and very importantly, damage rehabilitation. Education is also essential. The newly formed FPAs work together with landowners to practice integrated fire management and fire awareness programs are aimed at putting a stop to the high incidence of fires caused by malicious ignition. Read intent. Reactive actions will continue with detection, dispatch and coordination in fighting the fires. With this kind of focus, the project is encouraging experts from a wide range of related disciplines to share their research and encourage open public debate. 